Hi guys, Juice here. I am back with a different angle than normal. Usually you guys would be able to see my bookshelves on this, the normal bookshelves you guys see. Uh, but my tripod stand and my tripod stand and my mini tripod stand I have did not want to work today. And I was getting frustrated that it wasn't like standing still. Um, but today I have a book haul for you guys today. Let me... It's my May book haul. Little singing for you guys. Um, today is Saturday, June 5th. Saturday, June 5th as I'm filming this. So happy, happy Pride Month. Um, and yeah, there's quite a lot of books here. I actually don't know how many I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 books. I feel like I have more than that, but... Oh, these two. Yeah, 29, 30, 31. Um, yeah, there's definitely some more from my June book haul. So look forward to that. Also, June is not only Pride Month, but it's also my birthday month. <laughs> Yay. Um, so let's get started with this book haul. I'm going to start with the two books I'm currently reading and loving, and it's perfect for Pride Month. And the first book in this book haul is Some Girls Do by Jennifer Dugan. This is the third book by Miss Jennifer Dugan. I actually recently had the privilege of doing an author interview with her for her other book, Verona Comics, which was our Queer Reads book club pick for the month of February. If you didn't know, I have a book club called Queer Reads, and if you want to join us for the month of June, we are reading Cemetery Boys. I had to think about it for a second. Uh, we are reading Cemetery Boys for the month of June. If you'd like to join us, I'll leave a link to my book club down below anyways some girls do is about two girls named what are your names morgan and ruby and they it's a female it's like enemies to lovers type of trope i want to say because they're not really like friends when they meet in the beginning of this book um miss jennifer dugan obviously she knows the story by heart so she says the summaries a lot better than i did um and they, Morgan is, or Ruby, I believe it's Ruby who's the track star in here. And they both love girls. They are two lesbian lovers that become lovers. And I'm really enjoying it. I started this book yesterday as I'm filming this. And I'm already halfway through it. And of course, it has its Miss Jennifer Dugan signature. And I'm just so happy that I'm enjoying this. This is one of my most anticipated uh, contemporary books for the year. And I have it in my hands. So I'm so happy I'm loving it. I'm hoping to finish it today before I go to work. Um, I have like that much left. So definitely think I can finish it before work. And on to the next book then. Um, but yeah, this is the first book in my book haul. Uh, the next book I'm currently reading, I'm also reading this because it's a graphic novel. And I also have this much left and that is heart stopper volume four oh man there's feelings in this book and then i love listening to music whenever i read graphic novels because i always set the mood uh and the song as i am by justin bieber i'm not a big justin bieber fan as i was in like middle school or high school i kind of grown out of bieber but as i am by justin bieber there was a scene in here oh my god it was like the perfect song um and i am loving this one i'm like i said i'm hoping to finish this one today too it's such a fast read uh it's an lgbt male male romance novel um there's four volumes out they're gonna be a fifth one next year and there's definitely trigger warnings in here for this one this one is kind of darker than the other three volumes were and I wasn't expecting that from Alice Oseman. Uh, there's trigger warnings for suicidal thoughts. There's trigger warnings for self-harm. Um, eating disorder is talked about a lot in here. And fun fact about this book. This book isn't even out yet in the U.S. 
I was luckily able to get it from Book Depository, so I'll leave a link to it down below if you love the first three hearts heart stopper and you have it continue on with it uh because i definitely recommend this one this one is not my favorite out of the series i think volume three is my favorite but i'm really enjoying it and hopefully hoping to finish this one tonight or tomorrow before i go to work um and yeah that's the second book for this book haul it's a new release and a majority of these are new release a majority of these are backlist titles so just enjoy the rest of the book haul <laughs> Um, the next book is also one of my most anticipated reads of the year, and that is Blade of Secrets by Victoria... Nope. I saw Victoria Aveyard name. <laughs> uh, by Teresa Levenseller. Look at this beautiful cover. This is an, a stunning cover. Um, I don't really know much about this one either. I believe it has something to do with a swordsmith um, betraying her job or whatever. Um... It says, 18-year-old Ziva prefers metal to people. She spends her days tucked away in her forge, safe from society and the anxiety it causes her, using her magical gift to craft unique weapons imbued with power. Then Ziva receives a commission a commission from a powerful warlord, warlord, geez, that's hard to say, and the result is a sword capable of stealing its victim secrets so sounds super amazing um this is definitely a high fantasy not a high fantasy this is definitely like a low fantasy is that urban fantasy let me know book two. um but i'm so excited for this it's one of my shorter fantasy books i have on my tbr at the moment and again this cover is stunning i love anything by Teresa levenseller I read all of her books except one, which is Warrior of the Wild, which I see right in front of me. But I just need to read that one first, and then I'm going to read this one. You don't have to, but I just love doing that. Uh, and this one also came out this month. This one came out on May 4th. There was a lot of great books out this month. As the next one I got, this one I got at Target. I'm really shocked it was at Target. Also, the size of this is kind of intimidating. And that is A Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard, uh, or Aveyard. I don't know how to say her name exactly. I know a lot of people struggle with her name. Um, the back of this book sold me. I'm not a big fan of Victoria Aveyard's writing, to be honest. I read the Red Queen series. I read book one and two. I actually didn't even finish book two. I kind of DNF'd it. Uh, but I liked Red Queen, and I didn't really like Glass Sword. I don't know why. Maybe I just need to reread them. And see if I would like them or not. But the back of this book really, really sold me at Target when I read the back of this. It says, A squire, the survivor of a failed quest, an immortal miss. Oh, blah, 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 tongue tied. Oh, I just bit. Sorry. <laughs> an immortal, timeless, and unfathomable, an assassin skilled and heartless, an old sorcerer holding secrets beyond, behind her teeth, and a pirate's daughter, the ward's last hope. The heroes, the heroes are gone, but the fight to save the world only just begun. Um, sounds amazing, and I know Epic Reads has been hyping this up, and also another gorgeous cover. Like, come on, publishing world. Um, this is the first book in a series. I'm not sure how long it's going to be, if it's going to be four books, or a trilogy, or more than four books, but I have it in my hand. Hoping to read it soon and hoping I would like it. Or, and if I don't, I would really be mad. So hopefully I like this one. Uh, the next few books I actually won in a giveaway. I won my first Instagram giveaway on, on Instagram, I guess. <laughs> I won my first giveaway on Instagram is what I should have said. This is going to be a chaotic video already. And I won the Girls of Fire and Thorns uh, series by Ray Carson. Um, this is, like I said, The Girls of Fire and Thorns. First book is Girl of Fire and Thorns. Look at these pretty new covers. So, they released these new paperback editions last year. Um, and then The Crown of Embers. I think this one is book two, but I could be mistaken. And then we have The Bitter Kingdom. And then the newest release, Empire of Dreams. Uh, all of these are by Ray Carson, obviously. Uh, Root Literary was hosting a 
giveaway for this series it said to comment down below share and like the post and it, if they like your comment i forgot what the question for the comment post was but i think it was like who's your like favorite adventure buddy who's your buddy that you would grab from your adventure book or whatever that question was um i have read girl of fire and thorns before and I remember really enjoying it, but I don't know why at the time it was only a trilogy and all three books was out. But I don't remember why I didn't continue with this trilogy. So I'm going to probably do a reading vlog for you guys this summer and just see if I would get into this series. Because I have all four books free from the publishing company. So thank you so much, Root Liter Literary. Uh, I'm so excited and I can't wait to binge read this series and I'm hoping to do a reading vlog for you guys this summer. I am hoping to do a lot of videos for you guys this summer. Like my summer videos plan are ambitious. <laughs> and then speaking of winning giveaways, I won another giveaway on Instagram as well. It was for Y'all West. Y'all West happened middle of May or end of May and they were hosting a bunch of giveaways and I answered almost all of them except the there was a picture book giveaway that I didn't want to do because obviously I don't read picture books but I won two arcs that I was highly anticipating they are not even out yet these are both debut authors and I'm so excited for them I'm just going to show them off and that is you say you reach Sam by Dustin Theo or Theo I don't know how to say your name correctly I'm so sorry um, it says, how do you move forward when everything you love is on the line? Um, this blurb on the back says, a hauntingly remarkable debut. Dustin Teo uh, gently weaves his grief, regret, second chances, and the honestly beautiful moments we carry from my first love. Every tear you will shed reading this book will be worth it. This sounds like a good, hard-handing contemporary book, and it's perfect because I actually requested both of these arcs on NetGalley and I got denied by them, but somehow I won them as a physical copy. Um, so this one doesn't come out until like November 2021. I don't know when this one comes out exactly. I'll leave the release date down below, but look at this cover. It's so amazing. So yeah, once I saw the cover of this on Dustin's Instagram, I was little like, okay, this is going to be a cover by... And then I didn't even request an arc of this, and I just won it in a giveaway. So, yay me. Um, and then the other one I'm super excited for, it's Within These Wicked Walls by Lauren Blackwood. This one also comes out in November. Again, I don't know the exact release date. I'm so sorry. Uh, this one sounds like uh, perfect. It says, Kirsten White to meet Tomi Adeyemi in this Ethiopian inspired debut fantasy retelling of Jane Eyre. We love good retelling. Also, I didn't know what that word was, Ethiopian. I don't know. Um, this is an arc that I won in the Y'all West giveaway, so thank you Y'all West slash Wednesday Books for sending me these two arcs. They are definitely at the top of my list, and maybe I'll do a reading vlog for this too. Um, maybe I'll do these two sometimes in their own separate reading vlog. Wow, this is a long video already. Um, so sorry, guys. Uh, but yeah, these two arcs I won from Wednesday Books slash Y'all West on Instagram. So yay, on to the next one. Um, also, speaking of Wednesday Book, I had an e-arc of this book on NetGalley. And then they asked if I wanted a physical copy. And of course, I said yes. I did read this one this month in the month of May, right before the release date. I actually finished it like May 4th, the day it came out and I haven't bought a finished copy yet. I almost did twice last month. I was at Target like five times and I almost got it twice, but I just put it back for some reason. I'm like, I have the arc of it. Why do I need a finished copy? But then I saw the finished copy and it was beautiful. And this is also a debut novel. And that is Hurricane Summer by Asha Brothmerfield. I forgot how they say it in an audiobook. Uh, oh my god, this was a hard-hitting contemporary novel. If you want a good summer read, I mean, the word summer is in the title. Um, Hurricane Summer follows our main character named Talia, and she moves to, from, I think, San Francisco, maybe? 
I don't know where she lived before, but she moved from, I'm going to say San Francisco, moves from San Francisco to Jamaica to go visit her father. But as soon as she gets to Jamaica, she finds out there's some family drama happening and you discover that family drama as soon as she lands in Jamaica. It's also very human and hot during the summer in Jamaica. I don't know if that's true. I've never been. I'm just remembering what it said in the story. Uh, their language when they land in, in Jamaica, the way they speak is kind of different than us. Um, and by us, I mean like, you know, American people. Um, sorry, it's always rude. Um, but yeah, this one, I'm really happy I got a physical arc of this and I can't wait to do a review for you guys. I still need to write my review for this. Uh, I'll talk more about this in my May wrap up, but this was definitely a five out of five star read. It was beautiful writing, uh, hard hitting contemporary, and I literally was shocked at the end of this one. I literally gasped. I literally cried at the end of this. It was amazing. So yeah, I can't wait to uh, read more from this author. And then the, the last two books on this first stack are April new releases that I got in the month of May, but I didn't got in April, and that is Kate in Waiting by Becky Albatali. I am so excited for this. You guys know me. I love Becky Albatali. I believe this is set in the same world as the Simon universe. I could be mistaken, though. Um, this has something to do with theater, and I was in theater for like two years of my high school, and I loved it. And I can't wait to see what this one is all about. I know there's some LGBT characters in here because, of course, there is. Um, but yeah, I don't really need to know much about this one. I just know it's by Becky Albatali, and I love her writing, so I know I'm going to love this one. So definitely we'll be reading this sometimes this summer. And then the final book in this first stack is What's Not to Love by Emily Webberly and Austin Sigma Broca. I don't know why there's so much dog hair on here. Um, I read one book by this author duo and that was Time of Our Lives uh, and I really enjoy that one. I gave that one four stars um, and then I got an arc of this from Penguin Teen, oh, from James over at Penguin Teen and i started reading it i got halfway through and the publication date came so i was like okay let me just buy this book and i believe i got it yeah i got it from amazon um i couldn't remember if it was amazon or target but i purchased this through amazon and this i'm glad i did holy smokes i'm glad i did because um it's such a pretty book and i just can't wait to read it it's a contemporary novel and I think there's some short, some sort of retelling of this, because um, most of their books are usually retelling. So, yeah, what not to love is the next book in this book haul.